Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk and today I'm going to film what I'm going to call my fall favorites but is essentially my gotta count the months. Like September, October, November kind of favorites. But we're gonna call it fall. I haven't filmed these videos simply because I've been extremely busy with school. I'm not gonna go on about it, no one wants to hear it. But I'm going to tell you what some of my favorite things have been over the past couple months and that have stayed my favorite things. So they're kind of like my favorite of the favorites. So first I'm going to uh, kind of talk about makeup actually because I have not read for enjoyment only for school lately so meh. So first I'm going to talk about a foundation that I have a first impression on if you are interested. It's on my second channel but it's the MAC Waterproof Nourishing Pro Longwear Foundation. It's a super long name but it's so good. I have mine in the shade NC15, which is the lightest that they offer. Just, it's been my favorite foundation since I reviewed it. Which, the review was filmed, like, two months ago, so it only just now went up. But yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this. Check out the video for details. This is a new love, though. I only got this a few weeks ago, but I love it so much. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I got mine in the shade Fair Neutral because Fair, just Fair, was sold out not in stores, like could not find it anywhere because I was worried because it's like not the fairest of the fair, it's a step up from fair. So like that's always my fear. But it actually worked out fine and it's like a really great color match for me. I got this via recommendation from my friend Desiree at Unbound Book Reviews. She texted me about it and was like, oh my god, you have to try this. And so I did my best to find it and I finally got my hands on it and she was very, very right. I'm going to talk about a face powder while we're talking about expensive things. But this is the Hourglass Face Powder in Ethereal Light. Uh, it's gonna look like absolutely nothing on camera. It's one of those things that you really should swatch in store. Like, I have such a dent in this, you can't even tell because it's so white. Show you on my hand. I use this to set my under eyes, blend it out. I don't know, it just has this really beautiful ethereal glow. The name is super fitting for it. I think this powder is like $50, $52, something like that. It's, it's stupid. But I only use it under my eyes and maybe like right across, like right here. So I don't use it everywhere, so I feel like it'll last longer for me. Um, onto a blush. I'm normally not someone who is into blush. I never was, because I have really naturally rosy cheeks, so I always was like, cover them and then add color again makes no sense, but I've kind of fallen into that. So this is the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in the shade Rapture. It is really pretty, uh, deep mauve. It's kind of cool toned with a little bit of shimmer in it. It's a really smooth buttery powder. See, look at that. It catches the light just a tiny bit. It's more of a bounce. It bounces the light well. But I think it's beautiful. I got this when Sephora, back in September actually, when they were having their 21 Days of Beauty or something like that. I only have two more makeup favorites almost done for those of you who aren't interested. I'm sorry. But I'm quickly going to mention a mascara. This one is from Maybelline. It is the Lash, Sens Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect. The black tube. I hate the pink tube so much. If you like a lot of volume, um, I feel like it really gives it to you. It's super black, really voluminous. I like it. And my last favorite is a lipstick. And this is a drugstore lipstick, so I'm kind of offsetting the price differences here. This one's by Milani, and it is called Matte Naked, shade 61. It looks like this. It's just really nice, what I would describe as a 90s brownie mauve. More brown than mauve. It's not the mattest of matte formulas. It's a very comfortable matte. The feel of these lipsticks, the lighter shades, I have one that's the darker one, and I hated it, and so I thought I just didn't like uh, the line at all, but really it was that dark shade felt very just tuggy. I just didn't like it. Um, but these, on the other hand, feel very gel-like, but still like a lipstick that's going to stay on, but it's so comfortable. One of the most comfortable lipsticks from the drugstore that is matte. So this is gonna be a weird one, but it's this hat. It's, I think it's actually advertised as a dad hat from uh, Urban Outfitters. And what a dad hat means is that it doesn't go down super far. So it's not like a baseball cap, like that's the difference between them. Um, so I'll just put it on now, show you. So I usually have been wearing my hair in a ponytail and just wearing it like that. So as you can see, it doesn't go down very far. Most baseball caps hit about my ear and there's like, I don't know, like a half an inch or so between where my ear is and the cap itself. And in the beginning, it made me feel like the hat was like trying to fall off and I was always like tugging it down, tugging it down, but then you get used to it. It's just really good for when I don't want to wash my hair, but I don't want to look like I've washed my hair and saving my life. Now I'm going to talk about a candle briefly. This is the Chocolate Pistachio Candle. Oh, I love the sound. Uh, by Bath and Body Works. I got this a while back. It just smells like chocolate. I guess it does smell a tiny, tiny bit nutty. It smells amazing, it smells like chocolate. I really like it. All right, I'm gonna actually talk about an app which I never talk about on this channel. 
I'm not a very tech savvy person. Let's not show you the things I'm doing. But I got this app. It's called Adobe Sketch. I'll try to show you. That's kind of like what it looks like. And I'm going to show you an example. This isn't sponsored, by the way. This is just like a cool app that I discovered. Um, but you pick like a type of landscape, a size or whatever. And you have all these different um, options for drawing or writing. I like doing like little script writings. So I just, I prefer like, I don't know, just this style. And there are different brushes that you can use. You can do pastels, you can do them in different colors, you can do like pin marks or really fine tip or like pencil where it has a little bit of spacing between it. Just stuff like that. Um, anyway, I thought this was really cool. I got the idea of this from uh, Hey Claire on YouTube. Really great channel, by far my favorite. You should really check her out. I just love her style. But what she does is she inserts the little writing clips because you can make the background transparent into her vlogs for like transitions and stuff. And I thought that's a really brilliant idea because my other channel is Hannah Handwritten and I have the whole handwriting motif in the beginning and I thought, oh, maybe I can like differentiate it or really actually make it my handwriting and then put that into my beginning motif thing. So yeah, I just been playing around with that. I've been making lots of like political <laughs> posts. Um, that's where my anger's been going. So <laughs> that's a big help. <laughs> I almost forgot to mention, I've been loving paranormal story times hardcore. I've binged so many. If you're curious and you like scary things like me, comment down below and I'll tell you some of my favorite ones. I don't remember them off the top of my head because I've watched so many from different people. Loie Lane has a lot of really good ones. I mean, to conspiracy videos too, Shane um, has a lot of good ones. Um, and Tana Mojo, surprisingly enough. Um, so yeah, those are some of my favorites. If you want more specifics, comment down below and I'll help you out. Uh, this is something else and Again, I'm not sponsored to say this, but I've been really loving these glasses. They're the Fermu glasses that I made a whole video on. Such a fan of them. My dad's actually ordering from them. Um, I'm going to make another order at the same time that he does to save on shipping and stuff. And I have a discount code where if you pick from the glasses that I'll have linked below, specifically in that link, then those are, you get a pair of frames and lenses in the frames and stuff um, for free for your first order and stuff. And that expires on the 30th of November, so like this month. If you're interested, um, you can just browse the entire website and they have other frames, not just the specific ones within the link that I'm sending you or that I have links down there. And even if you buy from there, like the glasses are so affordable, like you can get out of there paying less than $50 for glasses and like the lenses and the frames. Um, I have a really bad astigmatism. My normal ones would be like bottle cap thick. I got the regular kind of lenses and I think they're about equivalent with polycarbonate thickness just so uh, my glasses people um, can understand, I guess. But I really love the website, just letting you know that the discount code voucher, which is Bookworms, I think it's just Bookworms, where's Bookworms 20? I'll have it on the screen, whichever one's the correct one. Um, but that's expiring soon, just, you know, if you're interested, go and look while you can and get the discount if you like the glasses within the particular link. I'm done rambling, I'm sorry. I am going to talk about music really fast. I have been absolutely burning to death, Kindly Now by Keaton Henson. Mm, it's so beautiful, but it's just so beautiful. I love it so dearly. My favorite song is All Right. Oh, I actually listened to it and rewound parts just to memorize the uh, specific, because it doesn't have a chorus, so it's not like you can listen to it and like catch on to it fast, because this album specifically just tells a story, like the whole album is a story. One really big pet peeve I have with the album though, I bought it on the day that it was released on iTunes. Two of the songs are like cut in half and I have no way to get the full length of the song. And they're two of my favorite songs and I was even cool with repurchasing those two specific songs on top of what, that I bought the album and iTunes won't let me. So if you know how to fix this, help a girl out. They fixed the glitch so I think if you buy it now you won't encounter that problem. I was just one of the unlucky souls. I'm gonna show you, or I'm gonna have you listen to a little uh, blurb from the song All Right because it's my fate. so much. If you have any video requests, please leave them down there in the comments and I will probably do them because I'm open to ideas. So I'll talk to you guys later next time. Bye.